Hi, welcome to Body Club. My name's Abby, founder of Girls Who Lift. Today we're going to do a lower body strength workout. All you need is a kettlebell or a dumbbell and also a glute band. We're going to do a quick warm up. If you want a more thorough warm up, press pause, go away, do what you need to do, and then come back to me and we'll get cracking. Okay, so for our quick warm up, first of all, we're going to do some side lunges. So with the side lunge, start with both feet together. We're going to step to the side. Body forward, we're getting a nice stretch with that adductor and then bringing it back. Okay, so when you're ready, okay, let's go. So we're going to step, get that stretch and then drive off the outside leg. So we're going to go for 10. So that's two. So just nice and controlled. So three, as you get warmer, you can get a little bit lower. Four. So we're thinking stretching and then drive with that outside leg. Five, six, pushing your bum back. Seven, eight, good, let's go for two more. Nine, one more. 10, good, okay, and then the other side. So I've both feet together, let's go. So we step and drive. So just getting a nice stretch here, getting the outside glute working. So three, four, try and get a bit lower if you can. Five, don't rush them. Six, good. Final four. Seven. Eight, good. Two more. Nine, final one. Ten. Okay, then we're going to do good morning. So, good morning is going to stretch out the hamstrings, get the glutes working. So, feet under hips, knees soft. We're going to hinge, stretch out the hamstrings, and then stand up. Okay, we're going to go for ten. So, hinge back. Stand up with your hands, you can put them here if you want. Two, if you want, reach forward. Three, or your hips, whatever works. Four, key thing is stretch. Five, so stretch, then use your glutes. Six, to get back up. Seven, three more. Seven, eight, hinge. Nine, one more. Ten, and then onto the floor, we're just gonna do some glute bridges. Get your glutes working. So have a lie down. You're gonna lift up, squeeze, down. Squeeze, down. So let's get going. Squeeze, down. Weight through your heels at the top. Squeeze, down. Let's do two more. And then we're gonna lift and hold. Okay, then lift, hold, squeeze for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Really squeeze, four, Three, two, one, down. Let's go for 10 more. 10, nine, eight. Remember, weight in the heels. Seven, really think about using your glutes. Six, five, four, three, two. Next one, lift and hold and squeeze for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Really squeeze. Four, three, two, one, and rest, good, all right, come on up. So, we're ready to go. So, we're gonna do five exercises. I'm just gonna go through them as we go through it, uh, just so we don't uh, waste any time. Right, okay, so, first things first, sumo deadlifts. If you can, you've got a kettlebell or, or a dumbbell, whichever, basically any, anything that's heavy, so don't worry about it, what you've got. If you've got a selection of weights at home, Basically find the heaviest one you possibly can for a sumo deadlift. Because sumo deadlifts works pretty much all the muscles in your body. So in theory, you should be able to lift heavy with it. So find something really heavy. We're gonna put it down. So with this, I have to step off the mat here. <laughs> Let's go here. Feet wide, pointy out here. Kettlebell or dumbbell in the middle, knees soft, and you're gonna hinge. You're gonna hold the, the kettlebell dumbbell, the weight. You're gonna drive up. And then down. So from this side, key thing here is what people do, they go here. So instead of this, they go like this. That's going to hurt your lower back. If you can't reach, so if you think, right, okay, to reach the kettlebell, I'm going to have to bend, then get um, a platform or a step or some books. Something basically that's going to lift the weight a little bit higher. So then you'll be able to start the position from here and then keep your back in a good, strong position. So if you need to, Press pause, go find something, a couple of yellow pages if you still have them in a cupboard somewhere. That kind of thing, just to make sure the weight 
Is that a good height? Yeah, so it's important. You don't want to do your back in. Lecture over. We'll get cracking with this. So feet wide, pointy out, knees soft, hinge. And then we're getting the weight. From there, we're going to drive up and then put it down. To stand up, you want to think, use your glutes. So from here, I'm thinking, use my bum to stand up and then to put it down. So up and then hinging back. All right, let's get cracking. So we've got 12 of these. Feet wide, point you out here, shoulders back, hinge, ready, and go. So we stand up, put them down, that's one. That's it, two. Make sure you're not on a slippery floor, or else you end up doing the splits, which kind of happened to me once on some dodgy gym mats once, so it's a bit dangerous. So make sure your floor's not slippy, fine, and you don't just have socks on. Six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, let's go for two more. Eleven, one more. And rest, good. All right, so next one we're gonna go for a goblet squat. With the goblet squat, we're gonna have a little pause at the bottom, which just takes the momentum out of it to make it harder. Then you get more for your money. So, with the squat, you're gonna be holding the weight upright, kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you've got available. You're gonna think, pull the abs in, yeah? If these are switched on, it's going to help protect your lower back. Chest up tall, we're going to be lowering. You're going to pause and then drive up. What people do is they go down, they bounce out of the bottom of it, which is easy, but you're not getting what you could out of it. You want to think about engaging the abs, yeah? So abs, and engaging the quads. So let's get ready. We're going to go for 12. Chest up, shoulders back. Okay, three, two, one. So we're going to lower, we're going to pause, then we're going to drive. That's one. So control down, drive. Two, we're gonna go for 10 more. Control, drive. Three, so nice and slowly. Four, we don't wanna rush them, slowly. Five, wanna be pushing the knees out. Six, good, halfway. Six, seven, slowly down. Eight, four more. Nine, Control down, 10, two more, 11, one more, 12, and rest, good, all right. Next, we're gonna do a B stance deadlift. So, it's a single leg deadlift. So, one foot is gonna be here, the other foot is basically gonna be out of the way. So you still got support, but you're not really using this side. So if you remember, you obviously have to think, what muscles am I using? So with this one, the leg that's pretty much straight here, we're gonna be targeting the hamstring. The other leg's just gonna be here, supporting, but out of the way. We're gonna have the weight here. We're gonna hinge. In that hinge, we're gonna stretch the back of that hamstring and then drive up with that glue. So if you think the leg that's kind of hanging around at the back is just for support, we're not working it. It's just that we, so we don't fall over. So. Grab your weight, so one foot here, the other foot to the side. So we've got this gap here. Knees are soft, we're gonna hinge, keeping the back nice and straight, and then driving up. Okay, we're gonna go for 12. So let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So we hinge, and then drive. So one, hinge, two. So from the side, three. So my back's nice and straight. Four, pushing my bum back. Five, I'm trying to think about working this hamstring here. Six, that other leg is just for support. Seven, so hinge. Eight, keep the back nice and straight as always. Nine, three more. Ten, final two. Eleven, one more. Twelve, good, all right. Let's change sides. Change sides and then change legs. So remember, leg at the front, this is the one we're working. The one at the back is just there for support. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So we hinge, get that stretch, drive up. That's one, two, keeping the back nice and straight. Three, so just think push your bum back. Four, slowly down. Five, six, seven, so hinge. Eight, always remember where we're working. Nine, so this is the back of this hamstring. 10, two more, slowly down. 11, one more. 
Twelve. And rest. Good. All right, next we're going to do glute bridges. So, grab your band. Put them on here. Just above your knees. You're going to grab your weight. Weight's option, option. You don't have to use your weight, but let me, let me show you your options. So, we're here. What you're going to do, you're going to lift. You're going to squeeze for three, two, one. Lower. Lift. Three, two, one. If you've got a weight and you want to use it, you can put it on your hips. Sometimes it's like a little bit uncomfortable. So you might want to get maybe like a towel or a hoodie or something soft. Basically it's a barrier. <laughs> Otherwise it becomes a bit squashy and you know, it's not very nice. So whatever you can find, put here. As I say, if you don't want to use any weight, that's absolutely fine. Just go body weight, get your band, do the three second pause. That's absolutely fine. Okay, now, so we're going to go for 15 with the three second pause. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we're going to lift. Three, two, one. So one. Three, two, one. Two, three, two, one. Three. We want to be pushing the knees out. Three, two, one. Four. Three, two, one, five, ten more. Three, two, one, six. Squeeze. Three, two, one, seven. Three, two, one, eight. Squeeze. Three, two, one, nine. Three, two, one, ten. We're gonna go five more. Three, two, one, eleven. Three, two, one, twelve. Three more. Three, two. One, 13, three, two, one, 14. Final one, three, two, one, 15. And rest, good, come on up. One more um, exercise in this set. Okay, so we're gonna do lateral band walks. Just do my little towel. Okay, so options. If you've got a smallish band, you probably wanna go round your knees, because we're gonna be doing here. If, because if you've got small band and you've got ankles and you can't really move, so you might want to like, you might want to play around with the positionings here and here and basically just see what, what makes your glutes work the most. There's no hard and fast rules. I, myself, I've got to go around the knees because I've got to talk. So we're going to be here, knees soft, hinge back. We're going to go for 20 steps. So we're going to go here and here. That's going to be one. And we're going to go for 20. So get ready, band positioning, either above your knees or around your ankles. Knees soft, ready, three, two, one. Let's go. So we're going to step and then just bring them next to each other. That's it, two. But don't close the gap too much or else you take the tension off the band. That's it, four. So we want to keep it tense, keep your glutes working throughout. That's five, six, seven. I'm feeling this already. Eight, nine, ten. Good. We're going to go for ten more. Sit. Ten. I'm going to pretend this isn't hurting. Hurting. Nine. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Don't trip up. Six. Final five. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Two. One, and rest, good, all right, took the band off. Right, we're gonna go back to your sumo deadlifts. That was smooth. <laughs> so remember, kettlebell, dumbbell. I'm gonna do, um, do it with a dumbbell to show you. I'll just have a quick run through while you maybe grab some water, just have a little recap. So, feet wide, pointy outed. Dumbbell, kettlebell, pretty much underneath you. Knee soft, hinge, and then you're reaching. Remember, if you can't reach and you start to round, and just raise the dumbbell or kettlebell by using something about that high. Okay, so we'll get cracking. We've got 12 to do. Let's get in position. So feet, feet wide, point them out, shoulders back, knees soft, hinge, grab the weight. Three, two, one, let's go. So drive up and then control down. That's one. We've got 12 to do. Two, three, as always, nice and controlled. Four. Drive up, slowly down. Five, six, 
Probably feel this a little bit in your inner thighs. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Three more. Ten. Eleven. One more. And rest. Good. Done. All right, next one, we've got the goblet squats. So remember, we're holding the weight up in front. We're switching on the abs, yeah? So we don't want to be relaxed. If we're relaxed, then you're going to hurt your lower back. Well, not hurt it, but it's not going to be nice. So we want to make sure we're always protecting the lower back. The more we switch the abs on, the more this is protected. So we're going to grab the weight. Let's get ready. So I think chest up nice and high. Pull the abs in. Feet in position. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go nice and slowly down. Pause and then drive. We're going to go for 12. Slowly down. Pause. Drive. That's two. We're going to go for 10 more. See, three. So control down. Push the knees out. Drive up. Four. Keep looking forward. Five. Six. Good. Knees out. Seven. We don't want them to curve in. Eight, final four. Nine, control down. Ten, final two. Eleven, one more. And rest, good. All right, next we've got the B stance deadlift. So just have a little recap. Remember, one foot is just out the way. So just think of that as for balance. Focus on this one that's pretty much straight. We've just got a soft bend in it, and we're just going to be hinging to get that stretch on the hamstring. So just ignore this, make sure it's out of the way, and just think we're just using it to stabilize. So I'll do it with a dumbbell this time. So get your weight. Remember, the leg at the front, this is what we're using, and we're hinging back, keeping the back nice and straight. Okay, let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're hinging, get that stretch, and then drive up. Hinging. See, two, push your bum back, get the stretch, drive up, that's three, four, good, hinge, five, if you can, think about using your abs as well, six again to protect the lower back, seven, hinge, eight, good, four more, nine, ten, good, two more, eleven, final one, hinge, 12, good, all right. Change hands, change legs. Okay, remember this is just soft. So we're not jamming it, just a little soft, and it's a soft bend. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So hinge, get that stretch, drive up, that's one. Hinge, two, good. Hinge, three, keeping the back nice and straight. Sit, four, five, hinge, Six, halfway, seven, push your bum back, eight, slowly down, drive up, nine, final three, ten, eleven, one more, twelve, and rest, good, okay, onto the floor for your glute bridges, so grab yourself a glute band, have a lie down, oh, sit down, put it on, Okay, so remember, we've got optional weight usage if you want. And remember, if it's a bit like uncomfortable, just get something soft. I'd say a hoodie, towel, whatever you can find. Ooh. <laughs> that was elegant, wasn't it? Have a lie down. We're gonna do three second pause at the top, weight in the heels. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So lift up, three, two, one, one. Three, two, one. One, two, three, two, one, three, three, two, one, four. Really squeeze. Three, two, one, five. Ten more. Three, two, one, six. Keep pushing the band out. Three, two, one, seven. Three, two, one, eight. Three, two, one, nine. Three, two, one. One, ten, we do five more. Three, two, one, eleven. Three, two, one, twelve. Three, two, one, thirteen. Three, two, one, fourteen. Three, two, 
one, 15, and rest, good. I felt that. Right, ditch your weight. You can mop your brow with the towel you just used. Handy. Come on up, lateral band steps to finish this first set. So remember, you've got two choices. Round the knees, or if you want to make it hard, round the ankles, but key thing to remember is you need to feel your glutes working. If it's round your ankles and you're hardly even moving, it's not going to be doing much. So choose wisely. Right, feet under hips, knees soft. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So we're going to step, step. Nice and controlled, that's two. We're going to go for 20, six, three. This is where we're working. So four, five, just nice and controlled. Six, remember, try and keep the distance between your legs. Seven, eight, you don't want to bring your feet too close. Nine, 10, we're going to go for 10 more. 10, burning a little bit. Nine, eight, seven, six, I should have chosen an easier band for this. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, all right, that's two rounds done. We've got one round, <laughs> one round to go. Um, grab a little drink. Mop your brow if you're a bit hot like me. And then we'll uh, get cracking with the um, third round. So, back on the Seymour Deadly when you're ready. Ooh, what shall I use? I've got a kettlebell this time. Okay, remember, if you need to use a little platform to rest your weight on, then uh, please feel free. Right, let's, uh, let's just get this done. So, feet wide, pointy out here. Knee soft, hinging. Key thing, keep that what they call neutral spine. So you don't want to be doing it with a bent back, okay? Right, let's get ready. So into position, shoulders back, knees soft, hinge, grab the weight. Three, two, one, let's go. Got to go for 12. Sit one, so we drive up, slowly down. Two, three, drive up. Four, remember pushing your knees out. Five. Six, keeping the back nice and straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, final two. Eleven, and one more. Twelve, and rest, good. All right, next we're on the squats with the paws. So, let's get your weight. Get it into position. Okay, let's get ready. Remember? Pull the abs in, yeah, so we protect the lower back. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Slowly down, pause, drive up. That's one. We've just got final 12 of these. Two, weight in the heels. Three, good. Chest up, slowly down. Four, control, drive. Five, six, good. Halfway. Seven. Eight, good, four more. Nine, slowly down. Drive, 10, two more. 11, final one. 12, and rest, good. All right, B stand stead lift. So remember, key thing, the leg at the back is just for support. Knee soft, hinging, hamstring. That's where we're thinking about working, yeah? Remember, always remember what we're working. Grab yourself a weight. I'm gonna go dumbbell myself on this one. As I said, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so remember one foot out of the way. Knees soft, think about where we're working. Keeping the back straight, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. So we hinge, drive up, that's one. Push my bum back, get the stretch in the hamstring. Two, drive up, slowly. Sit three, control down, four. Push your bum back, five, six, good, halfway, seven, eight, good, four more, nine, slowly down, ten, two more, eleven, final one, twelve, and rest, good, change hands, change legs, get the leg in a good position, 
Remember where we're working. Knees soft, so don't, don't ever do a jammed leg. Just soften it. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So hinge, get the stretch, drive up. Hinge, stick two. One side might be a bit tighter than the other. Three, but that's normal. Hinge, don't worry about it. Four, that's why doing single-sided stuff is good. Five, just to even you out. Six, good, halfway, slowly down. Seven, eight, good, four more. Nine, hinge, 10, good, two more. Hinge, 11, final one. And rest, good. All right, we can get down for the glute bridges. Come up for the brow. Okay, so glute band if we're using it. If your lower back was starting to hurt in the last set, then don't use the weight. Basically means your glutes are too tired. So, um, so it'd be more beneficial to skip the weight and just do body weight. Um, but if you got through the last set, <coughs> then uh, feel free to use the weight again. Be as elegant as I. All right, get, get in position. Okay, feet down, remember weight in the heels. Think about what we're using, using the glutes. Remember the three second pause, because that's where you're gonna get the burn, where we get the time under tension. That means more glute work, basically. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So we lift, three, two, one, one. Drive, three, two, one, two. Really squeeze, three, two, one, three. Push the band out, three, two, one. One, four, three, two, one, five, three, two, one, six, three, two, one, seven, three, two, one, eight, three, two, one, nine, three, two, one, ten, final five, three, two, one, eleven, three, two, one. 12, three more, three, two, one, 13, three, two, one, 14, final one, lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, really squeeze as hard as you can, three, two, one, and down, good, right, final bit of work, we've got the lateral band steps, then we'll have a tiny quick stretch, Right, okay, remember, two options. We've got round the knees, round the ankles, but remember if it's round the ankles and it's a tiny band, like if this happens, you're not really doing anything. So, so just move it a little bit higher and you're actually gonna feel it more, so it's a better choice. All right, so 20 each side, then we're done. So knees soft, slight hinge over, three, two, one, let's go, so step. There. And remember, keep the distance between your feet. That's it, two, three, four. Nice and steady, we don't want to rush these. Five, we're nearly through. Six, I'm getting a bit of a burn going on myself. Seven, eight, nine. Just keep a brave face, I think. 10, I'm not sure where we got with the camera, the counting. Let's go for 10 more, 10. Nine, I was too busy thinking of the pain. Eight, we might have done a few extra. Seven, you can have them for free. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do five more because my counting went wrong. Five, four, three, seemed like a good idea at the time. Two, one, and rest, good, all right, cracking. Our work is done. Let's have a, let's do a couple of stretches just to finish if you wanna do any more then. Obviously you can. So, glute stretch, we're down here, one leg across, back leg straight, ooh, and then down. I don't think I'm gonna get up from this position if I'm honest. So, I might be here for a while. So we'll just hang down here for a little bit. Get that nice stretch. <laughs> Some of you might be a little more flexible and probably get a little lower, but you, not, me, not me today. All right, if you can, try and get out the stretch. Other leg. 
So take one leg across, back leg straight, have a little lie down. If you've got a bit more time, I would spend more time doing these. Sometimes I time three minutes on each side. Because otherwise you just end up doing like 10, 20 seconds, which it's not going to do a great deal. So get into a position, start your time, let's say three minutes, stay in this position, and then change another three minutes and it'll just feel a bit more beneficial. All right, one more quick stretch. We're doing an adductor stretch. So what you're going to do, you can take your knees wide and then you're going to push your bum back. This probably might be better if I do this way, but then I might have to have my knees on this wooden floor, which wasn't a good idea, but hopefully you can see better. So I'm not going to stay down here too long. So you want to push your bum back so you get a stretch on your adductors. You'll be feeling those in the sumo squats. That's why we're doing these. All right, that's probably enough um, of those because my knees are hurting a little bit. Right, so if you want to do any more stretching, obviously feel free. Hope you enjoyed the workout and hope you'll come back for more fun. All right, see you soon. Bye.